So true to form, I've made a couple of changes since we worked on this last in the tutorials, and that's very typical for me. I mean, none of you know me, uh, but I can't leave well enough alone. So one of the things I've done is I've just changed some of the animals to be more reflective of kind of a cross-section of animals, not that they would ever live together. And I changed the music. I found it on audioblocks.com and just have a quick listen. sort of made me laugh. It reminded me of all those cliche TV shows from the 90s, you know, the urban jungle, you know, police, you know, versus gangs. So now I think what I want to show you is how you can manipulate some of your images. So this giraffe, for instance, maybe I want him or her to face in towards the rest of the images. So I select it and I'm going to choose the uh, change the properties. And one thing I might want to do actually, because I just imported it, is just change the uh, animation time to be a little faster and maybe a bit more transition time. But you'll notice up here there's actually a two things. There is a option to rotate the image. So you'll see here if I just change it a little bit, it will start to rotate. You can't actually see it in the preview unfortunately. Oh there you go, you start to see it a little bit. You can also just simply highlight the number and you can say maybe I want it to be minus 20 and it will tilt in the opposite direction. So if 12 o'clock is, is 0 degrees, minus is going towards the 11 and plus is going towards the, uh, the 1. I'll change that back to 0. And But the one thing I want to do in this case is I want to just sort of flip him so that he is now, or she, is now facing inward. So one click does that. The second click will just reverse, uh, flip vertically and then horizontally on that vertical axis and then back to the beginning. So I want it to look like this. And I'll click on the check mark to make that change. And I'm just going to have a quick look at the elephant here to see what his draw time or her draw time is. And it's pretty long as well. So I'll just change that. And that's based again on the settings that I'm, I'm going to show you in a second that were back here at um, when I open up the uh, video scribe. So now if I run this maybe from the elephant I want to go back to the giraffe for a second. I just want you to see what's drawing. So it draws the the, the hair and the and the um, what are these horns first, and then draws the rest of the body. So we're going to talk about custom images in a later tutorial. And the way you draw is not going to draw these little bits first and then draw everything else. You're going to draw the outline and then start to fill it in. So the order of operations when you're drawing, or the order, order in which you, uh, that you draw, is going to have to look natural. And in this one obviously didn't. So that's uh, something to be aware of. So you can rotate, you can flip, you can resize as well, you can make it bigger or smaller. But as you make it bigger, recognize that you have to maybe move this over a little bit and make sure that you reset your camera. However, you may want it to draw half on, half off. So I'm just going to move this back over the other way. I'll just drag it over. And I might want to set the camera so that it does draw half on, half off. So you can kind of, you can draw things off screen and then have it move over to them afterwards. So you've got some different options. So what you're drawing does not have to actually be visible. I could have also done this for the giraffe. So he finishes drawing or she finishes drawing and then the text comes in. So in that case I obviously want to have the, the giraffe appear so I can just maybe move him or her back over a little bit and make it a bit smaller. I can flip it, I can rotate it, I can copy it again, I can paste it. So there's lots of different things I can do. So I'm just going to set that canvas again for this guy. So that's basically sort of finessing the images a little bit. Uh, when we get to the custom images in the later tutorials, I'll talk more about how you can um, fill color in, the or again, the order in which you draw things, and why things sometimes look weird when you draw them um, using Video Scribe. But for now, just be aware that you can do a lot of manipulation within the properties of the, ab of the elements. So here's a little addendum, addendum on the end of this tutorial. I just want to remind you again about the image, uh, the default properties when you create your scribes. So I'm just going to save this. I don't remember where I saved it. <laughs> and then back on the main screen, I'm going to go down to the default scribe settings, which is, looks like a little gear. It's your standard settings uh, button. 
And the default image quality I've chosen here is 2000, and that was based on me having a, sort of a, a test that I created for myself as a, a tutorial, as, as a, a scribe. So I'm going to add this at the end of the tutorial, and you can see. But I found the 2000 worked the best because it allowed fairly crisp images if you have to zoom in and zoom out, as opposed to the pixelation you get for non-vector images. So just kind of go with that. Um, you can pick what you think works best, but I find that is uh, optimal for me. I created this little tutorial or for myself a little while ago just to sort of test out the different um, resolutions of images. And you'll see that we have the CN Tower here. So between my name and CN Tower, you can probably figure out where I live and probably stalk me, but please don't. Uh, and we've got a little image here beside each one of them. And so it's going to zoom in, show the CN Tower, zoom in, zoom back out, show the CN Tower. So you'll see which one actually works best. And my recollection is, well, my resolution is it's 2000 is the best one. So here we go. Again, music from audioblocks.com. So it's a little grainy, you can kind of see the edges. Two thousand pixels, not bad, it's a bit tighter. One hundred, it gets a little bit uh, ragged again, and five hundred pixels. It's pretty rough, so you can definitely tell the difference between these three. So two thousand was my best choice. So you can play around with those settings on your own, um, but I, I, it may be different on your computer. It depends on your video card and a bunch of other things, but this computer, that seemed to be what I thought worked best. So do that for yourself. Create yourself a little, uh, to, um, a little test and see uh, what works best on your computer.